Hey, good day, folks. Welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. I just want to speak to you guys for a minute about this van life stuff. I mean, and for those of you that have been watching my channel the last week, you know that I have been on the road uh, making several videos of several different towns and cities throughout the United States. And like I told you, so yeah, like I told you guys, I'm, out, I'm, I'm living out of my van during this travel to save money on hotel expenses. I just want to give you guys a little update on my van life. <coughs> now, really, mainly this is going to be a video that is going to educate you of how to stay warm overnight while sleeping in your vehicle in sub-freezing temperatures. Now, you know, at this time, I'm up in Ohio. I'm, up, I'm in northwest Ohio. And the temperatures last night dropped down to 27 degrees. And the other night, when I first came into Indiana, the temperatures dropped to 25, 26 degrees at night. So, you know, I'm going to be I'm going to be real with you people. I mean, when I saw that, that the temperatures were going to drop into the 20s, I began to I began to second guess sleeping in this van and just getting a hotel for those nights where the temperatures dropped that low. But, you know what? I decided to still stay in my van and see if it would be a and, and just see if I would be able to withstand sleeping in my van when the temperature is only in the 20s. And, you know, I, I mean, I mean, clearly I survived it. I'm not going to lie to you people. I mean, now when I went to bed at night, you know, the van was nice and warm because I left because like typically what I do is an hour or so before I go to bed. I cut the van on, I let it run, and while the van is running, I go ahead, I charge up both of my phones, and I keep the heat, and I turn the heat up to medium to high, and I let it run for like an hour or so like that, and then I cut off the van, and no, while, I leave, no, while the van is running, I go to the back of the van, I get my bed ready, I get everything situated, and then when I'm about ready to jump in bed, I cut the van off, lock everything up, and then I go to bed. Now, when I go to bed, everything is still relatively comfortable. But when I wake up in the middle in the middle of the night, like typically I go to bed around, eh, I don't know, about 10 o'clock, 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Last night, I didn't get to bed till midnight because I was working on some videos. So like last night, for an example, I went to bed at midnight, you know, everything was comfortable. But then when I woke up around four, around four o'clock in the morning to use the restroom, it was pretty cold. I mean, my windows were all frosted up and everything. But, you know, but I still, I mean, yeah. I, so yeah, when I woke up, I was pretty cold. I'm not gonna lie. So, how do I stay warm? Living out of my van in sub-freezing temperatures. Well, I'm about to give you guys those tips. Well, tip number one. 80% of your body heat goes through your head. So whenever you're camping in your whenever you're camping out of your vehicle and you're going to sleep in your vehicle overnight tip number one have a good quality hat such as this hat that i got right here so you know go to the store spend twenty dollars or so and get you a good quality hat get you a hat that's nice and thick that's tip number one i'm taking this thing off i'm hot so yeah, tip number one, get you a good quality hat. 
Uh, tip number two. Uh, I got this. This is a pillowcase. But however, this is the exact same material that my blanket is made out of. And I got this at Walmart. I mean, here's, here's the package. Here's the package. This is what I got from Walmart. I, I went to Walmart, got one of these, and I threw it on my bed in my van here. So, you know, get you one of these. I mean, like, I mean, this is a flannel comfort set. I mean, this is a pillowcase, but you know, here's the, you know, this is basically what the blanket is made out of. So, good hat, one of these, and run the van and run your vehicle with your heat medium to high for at least well you may not have to run it for an hour but i would say at the bare minimum i'm running for at least 20 minutes i mean if you got a smaller car then you can probably get away with running your heat on high for 15 minutes if you got a bigger vehicle then you might need to run your heat on medium to high for an upwards of a half hour. I got I get carried away, I do a whole hour. Just to make sure that I go to bed and I'm nice and comfortable. And the heat stays in the vehicle for as long as possible. And, you know, so a lot of times when I wake up in the middle of the night to use the restroom, I, you know, I take care of my business and then I go right back to bed. And typically I might wake up a couple hours later. Typically what I do is like an hour or two before it's time for me to get up for the day. I'll get up, I'll come up here, I'll cut the van on and I'll cut my heat on low. And then I'll go back to bed. So, you know, what that does is not only will they allow me to get into a deep sleep for those last couple of hours before I have to wake up, but when I wake up, the van will be nice and warm. The engine will be warmed up for the day so I can just wake up and you know, do what I do. And then I come up here and I can jump in the van and I can leave once I get everything done for getting everything set up for travel. I don't have to, you know, I'm not going to be driving down the road with a cold engine and all my fluids not uh, to proper temperature. So typically an hour or two before I get up, I'll warm up the van. And that's what I have as far as my tips to stay warm about sleeping in your vehicle in sub-freezing temperatures. Now, if it starts getting ridiculously low, like if it starts getting to where it's like 15 degrees or something like that, I'm not gonna lie to you people. I'm getting a hotel. I just am. Because when it gets that low, you know, I mean, I, I mean I'm not trying to risk, I mean, not only do I not wanna be uncomfortable, but I don't wanna catch hypothermia. And contrary to what many people think they know about uh, animals, especially cats, I mean, you know, cats like heat. Cats, do, I mean, cats do not like being out in the cold. They like heat, just like we do. So with that being said, if it got too much lower at night, I would just get a hotel that allowed pets. And that's my two cents. I mean, that's how I stay warm at night when the temperatures drop below freezing, living in my van. All right, folks, I'm checking out. I'll catch you on the next video. And, you know, like always, I thank every last one of you for tuning in to my videos. I, for all of you that have recently subscribed to my channel, for all of you that have been watching my videos and following me, I appreciate every last one of you. 
for all of you that have been leaving comments in the comment section I appreciate every last one of you and uh, and I will be coming out with many more videos like typically like the way I've been doing it is, is when I'm on these trips I might give you guys one or two videos a day average but then when I get back home I'll be able to sit down and edit some of these other videos and I'll give you guys way more content once I get home so you know be looking for a ton of content coming your way from for me when I get home so all right folks I'm checking out you guys have a blessed one I'll see you on the next one